What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new extension from Alejandro Soriano that allows you to quickly create faces from edges in SketchUp and extrude them. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so FaceUp is a free extension that's in the SketchUp extension warehouse that gives you the ability to um, basically simplify the process of creating faces from edges. This can be especially helpful if you're dealing with a CAD file or something that has a bunch of lines, but not necessarily faces. And so you can download and install this from directly within SketchUp in the SketchUp extension warehouse. So you would just click right here, you'd go look for FaceUp, you'd find it, and you'd install it. All right, so let's say that we were to bring in a CAD floor plan like this one to SketchUp. A lot of the time those CAD floor plans are gonna come in and they're going to have just a bunch of edges but not necessarily any faces. Now you could come in here and just kind of trace over them manually in order to start adding those faces. That can get a little bit time consuming though. And so what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna select all of these faces and go to extensions, face up, summon faces. So, so far this acts pretty similar to like a Christina Inneroth's tool. I think there's a couple other faces or tools in there as well. But this generates those faces and it orients them towards your camera. And so one thing about this tool though is in addition to having the ability to generate those faces or summon those faces, it also comes with a face extruder function. And so what that means is that means that you can use this to select the faces that are in here. So if I was to select these walls, for example, and run the face extruder, what it's gonna do is it's going to extrude based on a height that you enter. So if I type in a value of like 10 feet or something like that, notice how that's going to extrude that in here like this. So you can use this in order to quickly extrude up those walls inside of SketchUp. And so one thing about this though, is this works in a different way, which you may or may not like for what we're doing here, which is the floor plans, because it generates every one of those faces as a separate volume in here. Now that's not a huge deal because I could just group these and explode them. However, I think where this tool gets especially valuable is say that you have something like this wall right here. So say that you're modeling an exterior wall that has maybe skin on the outside, it has studs, and then it has like drywall or a face on the inside. Well, if you use this tool, so if I select it and I do a um, face up face extruder, and I extrude this to whatever height I want, we'll say 10 feet and I'm gonna hit enter, that actually creates these as individual volumes. Well, that's especially valuable because now I can create wall assemblies with multiple layers in here that are all created as different groups. And because they're all created as different groups, I can come in here and I can add things like, um, let's say that my exterior is gonna be brick. Let's say I'm gonna have studs on the inside. So I might just apply a color on the inside, maybe a gray color like this. And then I'm gonna have drywall on the inside. So maybe we just leave it light or maybe we just leave it white. Maybe we'd apply like this stucco material. But this allowed me to really quickly create these as separate volumes in here. And I can hide each one of them individually. So I could just do an edit hide right here, and I can see the piece of the wall assembly behind it. So to me, that is especially valuable because it really gives me the ability to create these complex wall assemblies. Now there is an option in here, so say that we were to undo all of this. I do kind of wish that it left the original footprint in here just so I could kind of like mess around with that if I needed to, but I get I get why it doesn't. Um, but say that you didn't have faces in here. So say that you had um, just all of these edges in here, there is also a function that's going to allow you to um, do both the summon and the extruder at the same time. So I could type in value of 10 feet right here, and then hit the enter key. So if you do wanna do this all at once, you definitely can. Now that gets a little bit weird um, if you try to do that over here with this 
object. So if I do a select, I'm gonna deselect my edges and I'm gonna delete the faces. If I was to run that over here, you wouldn't necessarily get the result that you want because it's also going to extrude up like these door volumes in here. Now that might not be that big of a deal though um, because there's not that many of them. I could just come in here and just delete them back out. So if that was a way that you wanted to do this, you definitely could. But notice how this extruded your frames in here. It also extruded the door leaves themselves because they were in there as 2D geometry. So um, in my opinion, doing this over the whole thing without being a little bit more selective over the walls that you've selected might not be the best fit, but I can definitely see situations where this would be a time saver. But overall, um, especially because this is a free tool, I think it's a really good one to have in your toolkit, especially because of this multiple volumes thing over here, which can save you a bunch of time if you are trying to create those more complex walls. So that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about FaceUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.